All right, it is Wednesday evening, about 9 o'clock, July 7th, 2010, and we are out testing out our new license plate recognition system from NV Track. We've got our uh, laptop right here installed with our four cameras up here on the hood, as you can see. We'll check those out in a little bit when we get out of the vehicle, but what we're doing is we're heading into Provo here, <clears throat> into a densely populated area of uh, vehicles. Uh, for the college, get us a lot of out-of-state plates. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do some data mining <clears throat> up and down, basically uh, where all the apartments are and all the housing is for all the students. And we're going to uh, get a good capture of all the plates that are over there. And you want to wait until evening time, so most people are home from, you know, work and school and stuff like that. That way you get the best reads. Uh, these cameras have night vision on them, so they do work at night as well during the day. Uh, and uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to head into this area here, and as soon as we get a little bit closer, we'll start showing how this works. But basically what it does is right now we're in traffic mode, which means our two front-facing cameras are facing left and right, and any vehicles that are in the lane to that side or to this side will pick up the plates, and then it'll interpret what it saw, and then it'll show us what it actually uh, saves it out as. And if there's a discrepancy between the two, we can actually go in and do a manual entry uh, if we feel like we need to. But for the most part, this thing's uh, pretty darn accurate. So we're just getting off the freeway here on Center Street, and uh, we'll leave it in traffic mode as we head through here. Actually, there's a really popular apartment complex for repos right here off the freeway. So we're going to actually jump off here on 9th West and head over there. And what we do is once we uh, get off the road, we switch from what's called traffic mode to we're now it's picking up all these cars head on as we're passing them. The reason the plates, it's also going to read all the plates of all the vehicles parked on the street on both sides. All the vehicles that are up in the driveways we're not getting right now. To get those, you have to have your side cameras on. And you do that by switching to uh, parking lot mode. And so we, you know, if you go down the street, you can go down once pick up everything on the street, and then you can go back again and pick everything up on the, uh, in the parking, in, in the driveways. So, we're just pulling into this apartment complex here. Another nice thing about this laptop is it's touch screen, and so, uh, that makes it kind of nice when you're driving. So, uh, now we just switched to parking lot mode, and there's usually just a little bit of a delay before it'll start picking up in parking lot mode, but now you'll notice it'll pick up down both sides, starting with that van right there. We're just going to roll through here nice and slow, and we're just going to data mine all these vehicles, where they're parked and what their plates are, and then that way later, if they come up for repo, we'll know where they've been found previously. Or if we get a hit right now, a live hit right now, then we can actually execute the repo uh, in real time. So this database also has in it all of the skips we're looking for for our system and uh, so that way if one of our skips that we're looking for or even one of our active repos that we're looking for comes up then uh, it'll also alert us of that and then we can also take care of the repossession on it as well so I'm just going to roll through here nice and slow and get a good read on everything that's here actually pull a lot of cars out of this apartment complex, so it's always good to have a lead on what's in here. Right to the end. And now it'll, as we back up, it'll pick up all those plates again, but it, it, the system understands duplicates, so... But it's keeping track of the latitude and the longitude of every vehicle that we're passing right now, its location, the time that we're at. If I wanted to get the plate off that motorcycle, I'd have to jump out and manually read it and then jump back in and do a manual entry. But right now, that's not what I'm concerned about. 
That motorcycle doesn't even have a plate on it. That's usually a red flag. You got that dealer plate. If you can read that dealer plate right, so I'm gonna go back and hit that dealer plate again. A lot of times you got sold and dealer plates to deal with. Still not reading it right. Five six two. Five six two six zero zero seven. No match in database. So there's no match in the database. We just escape out of there and keep on rolling. Yeah, this uh, technology is going to revolutionize the way we do repossessions and the way we uh, locate skips. This truck right here will run 24-7, constantly scouring our entire coverage area. And uh, every hit we get pays for itself. So, pretty cool stuff. These are the cameras. There are four of them mounted on the front of the vehicle. We've got two that are forward-facing that have a little bit of an out decline which allows them to be able to read plates in the lane here, and this one reads in the lane here. Any vehicle that's directly in front of us, we have to switch lanes to be able to pick them up. Then we've got two cameras on the sides, which are called parking lot cameras. This one catches the plates parking on this side that are turned at, a, at an angle, and this one over here obviously catches this side, and we can switch back and forth between parking lot mode and traffic mode. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go for another roll and we're going to see if we can get a hit here in Orem as we've got a whole list of new plates that we put into the system and we'll see what comes up. So we're just cruising around over here by BYU. We like to come over to the college and scan through the parking lot to see if we get hits over here. A lot of the vehicles we're looking for are students, plus we get a lot of out-of-state plates here. Right now I've got the vehicle uh, camera system in what's called traffic mode, which allows the two front cameras to read. And if I pull into the parking lot here, and I notice that all the vehicles start to turn to the side, I can switch to what's called parking lot mode, which I've showed previously. And so now it's going to switch to the side cameras, and now it'll start picking up what the side cameras see. Since there's no vehicle on this side, it's going to only pick up plates on this side until we start hitting ones on this side. And it is measured out about 10 to 15 feet. And so if I get a really wide street like this, then I might cruise down one side of it first, picking up all the plates on this side. So yeah, you can gauge where you're driving based on uh, the area. But if you're going down a really narrow road, it'll pick up both sides pretty well. So as we roll here, going down both sides. Keeps picking up anything that's up these driveways, and then I can turn around and go back into traffic mode and pick up all these vehicles down this side down here. What we'll do is we'll pull into this parking lot right here. We'll start scanning these plates. We'll go through and we'll put this scanning this parking lot, and then we'll pop back out, and then we can get all the vehicles going down the other side. So if you just got a hit on that uh, silver Mazda back there. Verify the VIN, but it matches the description of what we're looking for. Last six of the VIN. Yep, that's our vehicle. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, put a GPS device on it, and we'll call one of our trucks and have them come pick it up. So that's a live hit right there. Looks like they've been looking for that one for not too long. Today's the 13th, and we got that one on the 1st, so that one's the one that just came over. The address we have is over in North Provo, and we're over here by the college, and it's got a visor in the shield, and this is a parking lot that you're supposed to have, to have uh, permits for, so... Call that a skip hit right there, that's pretty cool.